Hopefully you had the chance to see my last video where I was picking through this house in Glendale, Wisconsin. If you've watched that video, now you'll be able to see the actual stuff that I found inside that house. So when I do these picks, a lot of times I don't get the chance to show everything at one time. So before this stuff gets uh, dispersed to wherever it's going to go, whether it's going to go in my shop or whether it's going to go on eBay or whether it's going to get sent to the warehouse or I'm going to wholesale it out to somebody else. Before I do any of that, I want to show you what I found in that house. Then you can see it again before anybody else, basically. And if you are new to my channel, uh, my name is Eric. I am a full-time reseller. I've been a full-time reseller since 2005. That's just crazy when I, like, when I stop and think about it, like all the stuff that I bought and sold over the years and um, yeah, it's just it's just crazy to think about that. But if you're new to the channel, um, I own a vintage shop in Milwaukee, Wisconsin called BC Modern. We were voted the best vintage shop in Wisconsin. We were voted the best furniture store um, by Domino Magazine, Apartment Therapy, Milwaukee Magazine. Like, like we, we, we starting to be known. People are starting to know that we exist. Now, when I started this company, when I started the brand, it was um, my, my goal was to be like this uh, this um, this hidden gym in, in in my city that if you knew about us, you knew about us. Like even my last place only had a small sign in the window. Um, nothing big, nothing crazy to say, hey, I'm here. It was like literally a small sign. And, you know, again, it was like if you knew about us, you knew about us. And that's kind of how I built the brand. But at this point, it's getting bigger than I can kind of hide it. Um, and you know, that's a gift and a curse. So more people are starting to know that we exist. And if you don't know that we exist, BC Modern, we're here. Eric, I am the owner of BC Modern. I am the curator of BC Modern. I wanna get into the stuff that I found, obviously, in that house. A uh, little backstory, the home is, um, the home was uh, an old Jewish couple, and uh, the guy that's helping them to transition to senior living uh, gave me a call to come out and take a look and see if there was things that I could you know, potentially stick in my store to resale. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section. I do respond to, you know, a good chunk of the comments that are going to come in. Um, if you see something of interest, please don't hesitate to, you know, like this video that helps, um, you know, that helps me to grow the channel. And that's what I'm really, really am trying to do. Um, if you, again, have any questions about something that you saw me found, find, or if you can offer me information on something that you've seen that I found, uh, please drop it in the comments too. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe. I know it sounds like repetitive when you hear this from a lot of people on YouTube, um, but it, it does matter that you subscribe to the channel if you see something that you like that I am doing or talking about. If you see me going through this stuff pretty fast, just understand uh, I'm trying to get through all of it and at a timely fashion. So we'll start with jewelry. I don't buy a ton of jewelry, but I really want to start to incorporate jewelry into my shop, especially, you know, things like this, like cufflinks. This is, you know, a lot of places you go, you're going to find a lot of women's jewelry. Um, I want to be able to start to carry things that, you know, I think, you know, that I could wear also too. So you'll see me carrying a lot more men's jewelry also too. Um, in my inside my shop 18 what is it 1833 silver dollar it looks like I don't know exactly what it is um, like the name or whatever like is it a Queen B Anthony or I don't know exactly I don't know that stuff off the top of my head I know it was something I should have took and it's something I can research and I will sell it for sure um, I got two of these City of Hope bracelets pretty cool that one's got the six point star on it or star of David I should say this one I did find was actually Mark Sterling so that's pretty cool um, this little guy <laughs> he's fine necklace with the coins on it And I got this double, triple strand Aurora Borealis with the matching bracelet. It's like the wrapper starter kit. Look at that. 
Hey, they be shining on you, boy. Some brass. Little brass catch all, if you may. This was the first thing I actually picked up when I was in the house. Wisconsin Sports Service, Milwaukee Baseball, Milwaukee Hockey. Letter opener. Cool from our shop. It's not incredibly valuable, so <laughs> you'll notice about my videos too. Like, um, you know, everything that I pick up, you know, don't. It's not like it's incredibly going to be like, you know, retirement money or something like this. Like a lot of what I do in resale is a lot of singles and doubles. You know, you you know, you buy it for five, you sell it for ten. You buy it for five, you sell it for twenty. Like you're doing that repetitively until you start to find things that every so often. You know, you got all your bases loaded. So say, for instance, you got, you know, like my myself, uh, you know, I'm, I have a store full of things and I bring people in to buy things. This is Viking. Still got the tag on it. You bring people in and, you know, now your bases are all loaded because the store is full. So somebody who doesn't have a store, it would be, you know, me like I would like that to liken that to um, if you were selling online and you had your store inventory full of stuff um, and somebody and people come along and they start buying your stuff like that's your bases are loaded basically because your store is full and you know at some point somebody comes in and they start buying things so I try to keep my bases loaded at all times and that's why I'm always bringing in new stuff to my shop to keep my bases loaded because all these little singles and doubles and triples they really really do add up and the key the key in reselling and I don't know if a lot of people talk about this but the key to me in reselling that's that's really allowed me to be sustainable in this business is understanding and learning how to get my average selling price up and to also focus heavily on not trying to sell things that um, are iffy. When I say iffy, like I'm not putting things on eBay that I don't think I can sell. I'm not putting things in my store that I don't think I can sell. It's not worth the gamble. It takes you the exact same time to sell a bad item as it does a good item. So to me, why, why risk or waste time selling you know marginal items and when I say marginal if you figure out what your average selling price is so say for myself like when I put stuff on eBay I want my average selling price like I'm putting up you know a hundred to two hundred auctions at a time so I would truthfully really really like my average selling price to be you know seventy to eighty dollars um, across the board and I would like to sell you know 75 to 80 percent of that stuff and to do that kind of you know to do those kind of numbers that means that I have to be selective about the stuff that I actually buy the same thing applies for my store when I say it takes the same amount of time to sell a bad item as a good item it doesn't necessarily mean that the item is bad it just means that it may not reach the mark that you're trying to sit hit for your average selling price your average selling price is $75 and you're you know like very stringent on sticking to that number even at 50 bucks it may be a bad item or I should say at 50 bucks maybe at $25 that might be a bad item to you because in that same time it took you to find sell and list that 25 item $25 item you could have sold one that was actually at your average selling price so if I say it's a bad item it doesn't necessarily mean it's not something that you shouldn't buy or that you can't make money on. It just may mean that it's not going to hit the average selling price that I'm shooting for based on whatever it is that I'm working on, whether it's my shop or whether it's eBay. Um, you know, it could be whatnot. It could be, you know, a flea market. Whatever you're trying to make your average selling price, focus on that when you're buying, not when you're selling. Focus mainly on when you're buying. You make the money when you buy this stuff, not when you sell it. That, that might go over some of y'all head. If, if it did, rewind it and think about it. Rewind it. Think about it. Seriously, because you make the money when you buy this stuff. I always tell people, you buy, you buy right, you can sell it right. If you overpay, you're screwed.
I got a lot of fun stuff out of this place. A lot of different stuff. That's what I like is to keep the variety very high at my shop. I don't want you to ever come in here and feel like, oh, I can go get that somewhere else for cheaper. Like, literally one of our catch phrases is, where are you going to find another one? Like, that's what I want people to feel. Like, I want you to experience that when you come in. It's like, if you see something and you're like, where am I going to find these tile pictures again? Then you'll buy them. You'll buy them in this moment. It's not about being, I guess, compulsive. It's more about offering an experience that nobody else is offering. Is that an advertisement on there? No, it's just a name. It's cool, though. All right, so the next bit of stuff... So the next bit of stuff, I'm going to have to flip the camera around and we'll go through this stuff really fast. Like I said, I got some stuff upstairs. I got some stuff on the floor right here. I got some stuff over there. I got some stuff in the van. Everything is not in one place right now, but I wanted to show you everything because when I come in on Monday, this stuff won't be on these tables. Oh, oh well, don't break it. <laughs> this stuff won't be on these tables. This stuff won't be... Um, scattered it'll be dispersed to where it needs to be you know where it needs to go in you know our 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 kind of um process that we handle and we do here at bc modern so when i come in on monday this stuff will be dispersed and moved to the areas and departments that it needs to be in so here we go flip around here we got these i think these are imperial i think that's what it was yep imperial glass imperial glass set of two four six got these two I don't know who the maker is on these if you're watching this this is glass this is all glass if you know who the maker is on that please drop it in the comments because I haven't started to research them I just knew that I was like I'm not leaving without them because they're absolutely amazing tumblers and then the ever so classic uh, golden peaks back there that's that's always a crowd favor for any kind of mid-century setting um, the last time I had a set of those like literally I probably had no lie almost $400 worth of them and, and one lady bought all of them and she, she set them up in her bar. So she said when people come over, they, they use them to entertain with. Got this lamp. I'll put a shade on it. If you look here, see some of my lamps in my store, they didn't come with shades. So I go find new shades for them and we marry a new shade with an old lamp. I wonder if this one lights up on the bottom. It looks like it does. Anyways, magazine rack ever so classic eyeball lamp hanging eyeball lamp on top of that and then we head over here these guys are pretty pretty amazing serpent cobra candlestick holders poker chips I got a thing for those clocks I got a thing for those clocks literally I just I, I just do I got a thing for those clocks brass candlestick holders the executive pencil box let me get that open for you so you can see which you would have on your desk as an executive. If you want to feel like a boss, I don't know what the, um, the my tension reducer would be. It'd probably be your tension reducer of choice. We got this tray, new old stock. These are all new old stock cutting boards. And this one is a chip and dip um, wood. Like these are all walnuts. So chip and dip set on top of there. And then I got these. That's really cool. I, don't, I haven't figured out who these are made by either just yet, but it's too good to leave. Pull some clothes out of there and some purses. Hold on, let me go around this way. Got some purses. Voila, voila. Let's look at the clothes. And now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, the stuff that's in the van is actually from that pick over there. There's another pick here, this one, this stuff. So that's another haul video. So I don't think I gotta show you what's in the van. So I'm sorry to disappoint. It was like straight up Tina Turner right there, boy. Uh, pants, or not pants, but skirt and top are you ready to get your Jackie Kennedy on this thing right here I can't even pick it up probably because it's like so like long it's pretty
pretty, pretty, pretty. This one's too is nice. I don't pick out a lot of women's clothes and every so often I think I might hit a home run. I think that was a home. I think this is a home run. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's pretty, right? Okay, and then I think that's it. But let me we'll go upstairs cuz I'm I think that's everything from this deal. Let me think about this. Um yeah, I don't think I pulled anything big out of here. We'll go upstairs just to check though. But I, I'm pretty sure I don't, I don't think I pulled anything big out of this place. Picked this up the other day. So I am now in the restocking phase up here. That's still got to get delivered. That's new arrival. New arrival. New set. Yeah, I didn't pull anything big out of here. So I didn't pull anything big out of that house, if I remember correctly. You could probably watch the video too. There are a couple things that I pulled um, that are gonna probably go on eBay. There's a doll that I got out of there. Um, there's one like Italian dish that I got out of there. What I'll do is, because I don't really know exactly where I put those things right now, um, because this last week has just been crazy. Like, like it's just crazy. Like I actually, I met the mayor this week. Like this, this last week has just been crazy. Anyways, I don't know exactly where those are, but I will post them in the, like the community page, I think. Um, I think that's what you call it. And so then you'll still be able to see kind of some of the other things. So if I missed anything in this video, I'll post it in the community page section of YouTube and you'll be able to go over there and see what else I found. So if you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up on, um, you can even you can comment it you can give me a thumbs up as a comment or you can give me a thumbs up and a like um, on the video directly through YouTube please if you got any questions don't hesitate to reach out if you like this kind of content if you like what you're seeing if you are enjoying um, watching you know me basically um, hit the follow button thank you